saying about tonight's fight. Hard, four years younger at 21. Prescott is taller, but look at that. Khan has a reach advantage despite that. Both inside the limestone nine pound, lightweight limit. Prescott is a proper full blown lightweight. He's even more than that welterweight, by the way. They made their debut in the same month, July 2005. Records almost identical. In fact, Prescott has been in one fight more. Ladies and gentlemen, Frank Warren, in association with www.frankwarren.tv and Sky Box Office, sponsored by Oxota, proudly presents the co-main event of the evening. 12 three-minute rounds for the WBO Intercontinental Lightweight Championship live and exclusive on Sky Box Office from the MN Arena here in Manchester. Your officials have been appointed by the World Boxing Organization and the British Boxing Board of Control. And your three scoring judges at ringside are from Leeds, Mr. Mickey Van, Mr. Dave Paris, also from Leeds, and from Rochester, Kent, Mr. Roy Francis, all from England. Your WBO supervisor is Mr. Arthur Allison of Germany. Your steward in charge this evening is Mr. Jeff Volter. And when the action begins, your referee in charge of the action is Mr. Terry O'Connor of Birmingham, England. Your timekeeper at the bell is Mr. Gary Grennan. And now to introduce the contestants. Firstly, the challenger for the title, weighing in at nine stone. Eight pounds, eight ounces, and fighting out of the red corner, wearing the black shorts. Tonight, he enters the ring undefeated in 19 fights, with 17 of those wins coming inside the distance. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting and introducing from Barranquilla, Colombia, the big, punching, Bradis Prescott. And across the ring stands the champion, fighting out of the blue corner and wearing the silver and black shorts, weighing in at nine stone, eight pounds and eight ounces. He brings with him an undefeated record of 18 wins with 14 KOs as a professional and tonight makes the first event of the WBO Intercontinental title. Ladies and gentlemen, from Bolton, please welcome Great Britain's 2004 Olympic silver medalist, and now the undefeated and reigning Commonwealth and WBO Intercontinental lightweight champion, from Bolton, Amir Khan. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee will now give his final instructions to both boxers. Referee Terry O'Connor for this one. Big test for Khan. Every time you miss, the six is up at all times. Watch you both, Clark. Ladies and gentlemen, three minute rounds for the WBO Intercontinental Lightweight Championship. Silent prayer for Amir Khan, the pride of Bolton, who's won all 18, 14 inside Second schedule. Down. Round one. Just how dangerous is Prescott? <laughs> Quick, close great combinations. And he says he's going to have his legs up better this time. It's Prescott who lands with a nice jab early on. Nice right hand again, and a fast left two.
17 wins. But you can see as soon as the fight started, Prescott knew what he was doing, he had confidence coming forward, landing with solid jabs first, and then the finishing punches. Disaster for Amir Khan. Let's just hope he is OK. The first punch that caused the trouble was one to the temple. That's befuddled him before, and there was really no way back, I think, from then on. Prescott was as good as his word. He was a heavy hitter, we did wonder. With a guy who's been on the floor as he was against Willie Lemon, Michael Gomez, why do you hire a man with a knockout record like that from Colombia for him? But it was a test he had to pass, he couldn't pass it. I mean, you can see the look of Prescott. He knew exactly what he was doing. His body weight was on his front foot. His chin was down, he was trading punches. He landed a beautiful jab straight through Khan's guard. But with that sitting out straight through, and you can see that had an effect on Khan's legs. The Khan always eager to please, sometimes too eager to please. But Prescott has the look of a man here who knows exactly what he's doing, and that was as soon as he landed cleanly. And I think the fight was over at this point. When he, when he got back on his feet at the count of eight, he was still all over the place. I think uh, the referee could have stepped in here and called it off. But because of the pressure, obviously, and he is a rising star, he gave him his chance. The one more shot. And it was over. It's a very, very sad sight. This was the first knockdown, a huge right and then a left hook. Great punches from the Colombian. But this but is a heavy, heavy knockdown here. That is a heavy, heavy knockdown. You have to be thinking seriously at this point on. Well, he recovered from this. Didn't look like it to me. Bang! These are solid, look how powerful these shots, the way he's turning the hip, the shoulder, everything behind those shots. Again, a man who's used to finishing opponents. Is there any way back for Khan from a, a defeat as damaging and stunning and in, as emphatic as that, Jim? Well, the popularity the young man has, but obviously they have to go back to the drawing board. But let's face it, the big question was, can he take world-class punches? If he can't, then there's not a future, but you can't... You, you, you can't put that on a young man of 21 at this stage of his career. He's going to have to come back for that. It's going to have to be addressed. But you can see it was all over. The way he crumbled to the floor here is alarming. Well, the road from amateur stardom to a professional world championship really is a boulevard of broken dreams. And I'm afraid to say Khan's dream has been broken tonight. That is a bad knockout. Goodness me, uh, Terry O'Connor gave him every chance, but there really was no, no way back at all. There will be inquests as well about this. There are bound to be inquests. What a sensational, stunning story here in Manchester tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, at 54 seconds of round one, Amir Khan has failed to beat the referee's count. The winner and the new WBO Intercontinental Lightweight Champion, Bradis Prescott. Who might be a name to watch with punch power like that. Ladies and gentlemen, please, a round of applause. He will be back, Amir Khan. Well, we hope so, and if he does come back from that, it will be some recovery. Thank goodness he's all right, but the dust still hasn't settled from what you've just witnessed in that ring. What an amazing night. Calamity for Khan. He's KO'd in one. We'll get the reaction from Nicky Piper, Glenn McCrory and Johnny Nelson next. Amir Khan, after 18 straight wins, you lose for the first time in your life in only 51 seconds, down twice, and your world must have fallen apart. Oh, yeah, you know, um, made a little mistake in there, and um, just, just couldn't get it back again. You know, um, stupid little mistake it was, you know. Um, 
Well, just that's, box, that's boxing for you, you know. One punch can change your fight. Did you rush at a big puncher? Was that the mistake? Yeah, you know, I need to have a look at the video and uh, come back stronger from it. Well, that, yeah, that could be one of the reasons, yeah. Are you OK as well? Let's just oh, get I'm that fine. straight. Oh, yeah, I'm fine, definitely, yeah, you know, I'm fine. Um, like I said, it's a stupid little mistake that was made. And, you know, I just need to go back um, to the drawing board and get it, put it right. I mean, it's never happened to you before anything like this, but you will go back to the gym and work on it and come back. Oh, definitely, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm a warrior, you know, I'm going to go back and I'm going to come back and I'm going to come back stronger. Frank Warren, we've been talking all week about what a dangerous test this would be for Amir. 17 knockouts in 19 wins, Bredis Prescott. Why did you make the match at this stage for him? Um, well, I've got to take responsibility for it at the end of the day. You know, it was recommended by uh, the new trainer, but I went with it, so hands up to that. You know, he got caught, he got caught cold first round. Uh, didn't get a chance to get in the fight, and, and we knew it was a dangerous puncher, but anyway, that's that happened. Um, it's now back, it's just, as Amir said, back to the drawing board. Um, hopefully he'll learn from it, he just never got into the fight. He's very popular, he's got a huge support base, but can he come back from a defeat like that? Yeah, I mean, he's not the first fighter to get beat, you know, uh, there's lots of fighters that have been beaten in their careers and come back and won world titles, you know, as long as they can learn from it, and that's what he's got to do. Amir, finally, a message to all your fans out there who will be, I'd imagine, as gutted as you. Yeah, you know, um, sorry to to my fans out there, and you know, there's going to be Amir Khan coming back stronger. Definitely. Thanks very much for your time, both of you. Bradis, you said you'd win in four rounds, but are you shocked to win so quickly? Tú dices que ibas a ganar en cuatro asaltos, pero le ganaste en uno. ¿Cómo tú te sientes? Bueno, contento y seguro, porque siempre de que llegué a a Inglaterra estaba seguro de mi victoria. Pero gracias a Dios lo tuve en el primer asalto. Bueno, yo decía cuatro rounds, pero ya que fue en el primero, bueno, mejor todavía, menos golpes recibo. No, I'm not. You know, I said I was going to knock him out in the fourth. However, I got him good in the first. Um, now, you know, I feel great. I, I was saying it from the moment that I got to England that I was going to knock him out, and that's exactly what I did, and I feel great. Do you believe that Amir Khan is vulnerable, that he doesn't have very good punch resistance? Do you think that Amir Khan can't take a lot of punches? Well, Amir Khan is a good boxer, but if they let him take confidence, Eh, bueno, yo salí a, a, a caballo el primer asalto siempre a, a, probar, a que probaran mis manos. Eh, cogió la, la, la primera y bueno, lo puse en malas condiciones y ahí lo seguí. No, no, no. I think Amir Khan is a great fighter. You know, he's got a lot of skills. It's just that, you know, when I went in there, you know, I let my hands go. Um, like I said, I'm very powerful and I caught him and well, that's what happened. Do you think there'll be a rematch? You think Khan will want a rematch? ¿Tú crees que Khan quiere una revancha? Bueno, eh, no sé si la querrá, no, no creo. Pero si la toma, estoy dispuesto a, a dársela, ya sea hasta en, en su casa, así. Porque yo siempre he estado seguro de que yo le, yo voy a llegar a grande. Um, I'm not really sure, you know. I mean. If he wants it, I mean, I'll, I'll do whatever it takes, you know. Um, like I said, you know, I'll give it to him in his house, wherever he wants it. You know, if he wants to rematch, I don't care. You know, it's, it's, I don't care. Finally, it seemed like you just phoned your mother. What does this win mean for you? Did you phone your mother? Eh, a mi madre que, que estaba ansiosa. Eh, bueno, mi, una victoria muy importante, ya que eh, la estaba esperando una oportunidad de esta para llegar a donde están los grandes. Hay que pelear con los grandes. Y bueno, esto lo demostré que yo también tengo con qué llegar a donde están los grandes. Yes, yes, I did call my mother. You know, she's ecstatic back in Colombia. And this is how you have to do it. In order for you to become a great champion, you have to knock out great people in your career. And that's where I'm going to in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.